Whoa, Princess Peach is mine now! I came to rescue the princess! Mario! Help! I'm hungry! Any of you have a snack? Uh, I think I have a mushroom! That doesn't sound appetizing! To enter the castle, you need to bring one cupcake each! That sounds better! But I don't know how to pay! Me either! Let's help our friends gather the ingredients they need for their cupcakes! We'll find everything we need at the farmer's market! Red for Mario, green for Luigi, and blue for Toad! Let's get Toad's first! Cool! Let's do this! And here's the cart where we can put everything! Start with some flour! Here's the flour, sugar, some fresh blueberries, and some eggs! And a fish too! But you don't need a fish to make cupcakes! <laughs> it's for me! Now that we're done with Toad, let's gather Luigi's ingredients! Since Luigi's favorite color is green, let's get all of our green ingredients! Like this green pepper! This green watermelon! These fresh green cucumbers! And these two pears! Oopsie, my bad! And red for me! Let's see what we can find that's red for Mario! Some red apples! One red bell pepper, some delicious raspberries, and a red tomato? Yes, why not? Okay then, there you go! Now you're all ready! Here comes the fun part! This blue slime will help us bake Toad's cupcake! So cool! Let's pour it right here! Now I'll pour all of Toad's ingredients! Whoops! There you go! <laughs> hey, should I put the fish in there? No, Toad, I don't think that's a good idea! And done! Perfect! Here's some green slime for Luigi! And all of his green ingredients! Whoops! There you go! Mix, mix, mix! It's so jiggly! And red slime for Mario! And all the red ingredients Mario chose! Now we mix everything together! And voila! Wait a minute! This looks like jello! I hope we get our cupcakes! These cupcakes will finish baking in my oven! Let me set the timer for five minutes! Why are they taking so long? Ha ha ha! Our way is about to begin! Finally, the cupcakes are ready! It took a long time! I know, but it'll be worth it! And to decorate, I made some blue frosting! Let's frost it all around! Red and blue, just like Mario's outfit! And here's some red frosting for Luigi's cupcake! This cupcake looks delicious! And for Toad, we'll be using green frosting! He said to make it extra frosty! Whatever that means! Let's use this star to decorate Toad's cupcake! This green mushroom for Luigi's cupcake! Perfect! And this red mushroom for Mario's cupcake! I just hope Bowser doesn't get any bigger after eating these cupcakes! Here are your cupcakes, Bowser! Right on time! Luigi, give me the super leaf! I'll rescue the princess! Here you are! I'll get you out of there! Not so fast, Mario! Mamma mia! Ha ha ha! It's too late to escape! Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I press this! Watch out, Luigi! That could have been me! I'm not letting this cupcake go to waste! <coughs> Whoa, I'm huge! It's not over yet, Mario! Hey, Bowser! Whoa! Thank you all for rescuing me! Uh, does anyone have a napkin? Phew! Finally, back at the castle! Oh my! I see pipes over here and over there! But where is Mario and Luigi? They're probably lost in the pipes! Or even behind one of these surprise doors! And there's 24 of them! Which one should we start with? Something tells me we should start with the number one. But first, let's go ahead and put this tree up. And let's do the same with this pipe. There. Now we're ready to find out what's inside number one. This is good news. We found Luigi. Mamma mia. Let's get Luigi out. Where are you, Luigi? Down here. Luigi, you're so tiny. You need to eat a mushroom. All right, do. Let's see what's behind door number two. Finally, a mushroom for Luigi! And door number three! It's a question mark box! Let's pop them both out! So we got a question mark box and a mushroom for Luigi! 
I want to share it with Mario. He's probably mini size too. Oh, Luigi, that's so nice of you. Number four is down here. And number five is up here. Behind number four was a free superpower. And here's a coin from number five. Let's see who's behind door number six. It's a great Yoshi. He's so little. Almost the same size as Luigi. <coughs> Don't worry, Luigi. You'll get back to your size soon. Here's door number seven. Let's open it. And eight is up here. We got a green shell in number seven. And a super power in number eight. This one is super cool because it gives you the power to throw fireballs. But I need something to make me bigger. Don't worry, Luigi. I'll go find another mushroom for you. I think that was a bad idea. Meanwhile, we can open door number nine. Princess Peach? That was a bad idea. Now I'm small too. I mean, Luigi did try to warn you. Don't worry, we'll find a mushroom for you too. Let's see what's behind door number 10 and number 11. It's a star. We should keep this one away from Bowser and a piranha plant. Let's hope this one doesn't bite me. Now let's open door number 12 and 13. Cool, two Yoshis. One red and one green. Let's put them together right here. Let's see what's behind 14 and 15. Behind 14 was this Yoshi egg. And in 15, a one-up mushroom. Mario can use it once we find him. Now 16 is right here. And 17. Yes, we just found another question mark. We found another coin behind 16. And another question mark behind 17. And they actually belong together. Let's see, 18 is down here. Cool, another shell. But this one is red. Let's place it next to the green one. 19 is all the way up to the top. Ooh, this leaf is a superpower, which makes Morrow able to fly. 20 is right here by the question mark box. Cool, we just found Toad. Now we're all the same size. Not for long. You guys, we still need to find Mario. In 21, we should find another coin. And in 22, there's a power box. This is so cool. Behind 23 is another star. This one is for Luigi. And the last one, number 24, is Mario. We finally found you, Mario. Mamma mia, we're all small. Here's one mega mushroom you can all share. Being small wasn't bad at all. Mamma mia. I have the best battle desert playset. It's full of obstacles for our Pokemon to enjoy. It's a carry case, so you can put it on like a backpack and take it with you everywhere you go. Can I try it on, please? Of course. Let me help you put it on. There you go. <laughs> hey, Jesse, do you like your new backpack? Yes, it's cool. Are you ready to train your Pokemon? Yes, let's do it. Awesome, but I think we should get our Pokemon out first and build our new Pokemon gym. Let's get our best friend, Pikachu. Pikachu! Our next Pokemon is Squirtle. Squirtle has water powers. Imagine how easy it is for him to fill up water balloons. Squirtle. Our next Pokemon is... Charmander. Charmander has fire powers. And our last Pokemon is... Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. No, Bulbasaur, this isn't a school backpack. It's a new battle engine playset for you guys. And it's divided into two obstacle areas. One, two. Now it's time to set it up. This side looks like a battlefield where Pokemons try their new techniques and powers. Let's lift these two boulders from each side. Looks like it's part of a bridge. But it's not just any bridge, it's a spinning log bridge. You gain more balance by running on the log. Pikachu's good at this. Pika? This is Squirtle's favorite game. It's a rope ladder. This is good exercise for Squirtle since he's joining the firing squad to fight fires. This is a sparring platform, but it's more for fighting type Pokemon. Squirtle. This side is complete. Let's jump to the other side. This rock is for our boulder roll game. You let the rock roll down the slide. But since it's a little more rough, let's leave it to the rock type Pokemon. And this is a boulder swing. The rock swings around every time they hit it. And the last obstacle, the whirlpool. 
guys, where's Bulbasaur? Wait a minute. Well then, I guess you guys can have all the fun. First off, we have Squirtle climbing the rope ladder. Squirtle. Remember the training from the fire squad, Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle, Squirtle. Now Pikachu is going to try the spinning log bridge. Charmander. Pika. That was good training. Now it's battle time. Remember, it's a friendly match. Charmander versus Squirtle. Each of you has 10 points. Whoever has the most points by the end of the match wins. Charmander has the first move. Charmander. That was a strong fire from Charmander. Squirtle lost five points. 10 minus five equals five. Squirtle remains with five points. Now it's Squirtle's move. Seems like he's gathering all the water he drank after the training. Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Wow, Squirtle, Squirtle used up all his water till the very last drop. Charmander looks confused. He lost eight points. 10 minus eight equals two. It's Charmander's last chance. Let's see his final attack. Charmander! Uh-oh, Squirtle has been knocked down by Charmander's tail attack. He lost his remaining points. Five minus five equals zero. Charmander took this victory. Now we have Bulbasaur versus Pikachu. Pika, Pika! Time to show everything you learned from your training. Pikachu has the first move. Pika! Bulbasaur took that attack like a champ. He only lost two points from Pikachu's attack. 10 minus two equals eight. Bulbasaur looks very confident. Let's see what his next move will be. Bulbasaur. That was a strong attack from Bulbasaur. Pikachu looks like he doesn't know where he's at. Pikachu lost seven points. 10 minus seven equals three. Let's see what Pikachu does this round. Pika, Pika. Pikachu used all the electric power he has. Bulbasaur didn't send a chance. Bulba. Pikachu remains undefeated. Bulbasaur lost eight points. Eight minus eight equals zero. Those were two amazing battles. Who's ready for the next round? Pika, Pika. Are you ready for a water slide adventure? We only need two more pieces to complete our water track. First is this curved piece, which will make our boat loop around. All we need to do is snap it on with the red connector. And the last piece is a straightaway piece. I'll be putting this side with the connector on first. Let's snap it and make sure it's tight so no water leaks out from the track. Same way for this side to close up our track. This spinning wheel will help to push the water for our boats to move. And this yellow gate will help change the direction of our boats. This piece looks like a giant rock, which makes sense since it's the bottom base of our slide. Check this out. This is the slide for our boats. Let's snap it onto the giant rock. And make sure to secure the legs of the slide so it won't move while we play. So cool. This slide comes with an elevator for our boats to go up and down as much as we need. Now let's place our slide onto our water track. And to decorate, let's put this tree right here. And another tree on this little mountain. And these stacked rocks are for a little surprise. A water cannon! We'll be able to shoot water at the boats as they go around the track. Now we're all set. So we don't make a mess, let's take it outside to fill it up with water. This is the easiest way to fill it up. Let's put some water for the waterfall, too. I have four different colored boats. I'll be using this blue boat for Bluey. Let's put the boat in the water, and with the help of the spinning wheel, the boat will move forward. And there she goes. Yay! I got the blue boat! This pink boat for Bingo. Don't worry, I bet you'll have just as much fun on this pink boat than any other boat. Aww, 
okay. This red boat is for Bluey's friend, Honey. Arr, I'm coming for you, Bluey and Bingo. <laughs> and this green boat for Bluey's friend and next door neighbor, Lucky. Wait for me, guys. I'm right behind you. Let's put the elevator to work. Bluey's gonna go first. And there she goes! Wow, that was a big splash! That's okay, Bluey. Let's try it one more time. Whoa! That was amazing! It's your turn, Bingo! And there goes Bingo! <laughs> and there goes Honey! Oi, that was a big splash! I even got water in my eye! And Lucky! Wait for me! Oh, surrender, guys! You can't do anything against my water cannon! Got you! Wow! This waterfall looks more like a free car wash! Go inside for your free wash, my friends! You'll leave extra shiny and clean! That was amazing! Would you like to go for a water adventure tour? Then let's go!